for a child that have two two parents that are separated, for example, in which case that child's impact on a tax return can be significant because then you have uh, the dependent, which could qualify for a child tax credit, and the status could change from, from single to head of household, which also could have significant impacts on, say, for example, the standard deduction and uh, possibly the tax rates. So then we have to get into the weeds here on some of those questions where you don't know where or what filing status would be applicable in a certain situation. So we talked about some of those situations and now we just wanna look at some definitions that could apply to those situations. And whenever you have something that's kind of in between you, that's where you wanna, of course, do your research and dig in deeper. But here we're gonna dive into some definitions. So we mentioned qualifying child a few times. So in general, to find out if someone is your qualifying child, you could see step one under who qualifies for your dependent. So note, when we're talking about dependents, which some of the filing statuses had involved in possible qualifications, such as for the head of household, for example, or possibly qualifying a widow or widower uh, situation, then we can jump on over to the uh, dependents and do our research there, which we will do in a future presentation. So again, a dependent, if there's a qualification of a dependent as part of the process for filing status to find out if someone is your dependent, you can see who qualifies as your dependent. We'll touch in on that later.